Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to download and install Turbo C++ on Windows. Also I will show you how to create a C file and how to run it. So first let's type Turbo C++. Now let's go to this first link. And here we have to click on this download button. Now let's save this zip file, so I will save it on the desktop. Now the download finished correctly, so I have just to extract this zip file and I will extract it on the desktop. Now I have to open this folder and to run this setup file. So in this window I have just to click next. And here I need to accept the license, then let's click next. And as you can see, this is the folder where Turbo C will be installed. So let's click on install. Now the installation finished correctly and this shortcut has been added to the desktop. It allows us to start Turbo C++. So here I will uncheck this box and let's click on finish. Now let's close this folder. And let's start Turbo C++. In this window I have to check this box because I want to start Turbo C++ in full screen mode. And I will uncheck the second box. Now let's click on start Turbo C++. So here I have several opened files. I will close all of them using this close button. And also I will close this message area. Now let's open a file. So let's go to file, then open. And the file that I want to open is available in the projects folder. But for the moment we are on the bin folder. So I have to select this and to click on open. Now I have to select projects folder and to click on open. And this is the file that I want to open. So let's select it and let's click on open. Now let's increase the size of this window using this button and for the moment this file contains this source code. So I will save this file under another name. So let's go to file and let's click on save as. So I will save it always on the projects folder. So let's select this and let's click on OK. And here let's select the projects folder and let's click on OK. Now let's provide a name to this file, so I will call it main.c. And let's click on OK. So as you can see, the name of the file has been modified, but this is a new file. This is not the previous file. So here I will add some statements. First of all, I will create a new variable, which is a char pointer. And now let's ask the user to provide his name. So I will add the statement here. And now let's read the name of the user. And finally let's print the name of the user as a confirmation. Now let's save this file. So let's go to file then save. And now let's compile this file. So let's go to compile then compile. And here we can see that the file has been compiled without any error. So let's hit any key to close this box. And now let's run the file. So let's go to run, then run. And here it is asked to provide a name. So let's type Bill Gates. And let's hit enter. And as you can see, this is the confirmation of the name. Now let's hit any key. And here let's click on escape to close this box. Now let's close this file and let's create a new one. So let's click on this close button and let's create a new file. So let's go to file, then new and let's increase the size of this interface and let's save this file. So let's go to file, then save and I will select the projects folder. So let's go back to the previous folder and let's click on OK. Let's select projects, let's click on OK, and here let's provide a name to this new file. So I will call it test.c. Now let's click on OK. 
and here let's type some C code now let's save this file and let's compile it so we don't have any error so let's hit any key and now let's run it and as you can see this is the output of the file so let's hit any key and let's hit escape now let's take a look on the created files using Windows Explorer. So let's close this Turbo C++ application. So let's go to File, then Kit. Also let's close this interface. And let's open the folder where we installed Turbo C. So it is on the C drive into a folder called Turbo C3. So here I have to open the projects folder. And here I can see the three files that I have created. So let's open main.c and I will use notepad++ to open it. And as you can see, this is the source code that we have created using Turbo C++. So as you can notice, Turbo C++ is a very old environment for creating C files, but there are several other editors that you can use instead of Turbo C++. So you can find a list of alternative editors which are free in the description of this video. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.